catch and then we continue. Hi, hello, so, Professor. Uh, uh, hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, for those in this part of the world. Please, can you all hear me? Yes, please. Excellent. Yes, please. Thank you. We can hear yes, you, sir, we can. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, so my name is Odi Elijah, and I'm very excited to have been part of the conversation today and uh, with uh, plenty of thanks to the leadership of uh, the UIB ASA, the African Students Association of the UIB at BJ here. And also bring in very warm greetings to uh, from the leaders of OED. And um, just want to quickly make a brief reading of the introduction of the organization. And um, so the Global Organization of African Academic Doctors, OAAD, uh, uh, is a competency-based, grassroots, multidisciplinary, multi-professional, international NGO, which brings together a growing number of African PhD holders and PhD scholars, high-end talents from over 50 African countries, residents across Africa, the Asian continent, Australia, Europe, and North America, where they are to global. So, where they are contributing to global sustainable development as professors, researchers, innovators, and entrepreneurs, with a numerical strength target of two hundred thousand high-end talents, representing at least one hundred fifty thousand families in about fifty thousand villages across Africa. 25% of whom run their own businesses, and others being specialists in over 1,000 research foci and industrial orientations. OAD has a duty towards Africa. We make things happen for our members in order to ensure they keep increasing their ability to engage the world with most remarkable competitive advantages while innovating alongside their villages and communities towards actualization of the SDGs in Africa and the AU Agenda 2023, the Africa we want. The vision of OAD is to enhance the quality of life in Africa through research, technology, and innovation. And our mission is doctoring solutions for Africa and the world. The main objective is bringing together African intellectuals to foster development while engaging relevant internal and external stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the brief introduction of OED, and we look forward to having more conversations with us for the rest of the five, uh, four weeks we'll be engaging. We hope to dig further deeper. And for anybody who may want to know further things about the OED, you can check the website, africanacademicdoctors.org. And you could also contact okay. us uh, I will yes, put that um, on the chat box shortly. Uh, we'll put that on the chat box on, shortly. Online, uh, and online, we will be yeah. able to um, also provide a phone number for those who may want to contact or those who are uh, uh, Africans and may want to get involved to contribute their quota towards some advancement of sustainable development in Africa able to uh, guide us as we move forward. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Looking forward to having the best of time remaining. Thank you so much. So, and finally, uh, we've had today more than 400 people signing in. You have seen the quality of what we're bringing and in the future we'll be bringing even more. Uh, make sure to reach out to your colleagues, your friends. We have made provision for 1000 uh, 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 spaces for everyone, let's feel it tomorrow. Uh, let's feel it next Saturday as we keep um, driving the process. Thank you very much once again and do have a wonderful time. All the best, everyone. Over to you, Kwame. Uh, please, could I be heard all through? Yes, please. Uh, we heard you and Excellent. we do appreciate the support, the love and the impact. Uh, we say thank you. So, uh, fellow colleagues, this is the little we were able to do today, but <laughs> trust me, it's not little. When you start playing with it, you realize you've gotten a foundation, and next week we'll build on it. 
So I see Ali Hamdala. I'm sorry if I got the name wrong. Your hand is up. Do you have a question? I have um a contribution. I just want to say one thing. Oh, feel free. Yes, as regards the section of question and answer, I think it would be fine if everyone can actually um get their question noted during the course of the lecture. Then after the time, after the lecture, then there should be a room for question and answer where everyone will have the time to ask questions based on what they understand or if they need more lights to be thrown to a particular section then the person in charge should be able to assist with um, clarification on that particular part. Because while the lecture is going on and everyone seems to be talking or everyone seems to be asking questions, it should be like we are going back and forth every time, which is not going to be a nice one. Because you end up seeing someone asking a similar question which has been answered before. So I, in my own opinion rather, I feel um, everyone should note their question down at the course of the uh, at the course of the lecture then when it is time for question and answer if i actually ask a question and um justice will be done to to every question that's going to be raised by anyone of us thank you very much once again i really appreciate the lecture and you have a wonderful evening. hello madrita okay so thank you so much for uh giving us the insight we do understand like the question sometimes draws us back. You know, it kind of affects us negatively. But since some of us have no idea about data or even data analysis, we are encouraging that people can ask some questions in order for them to get a better understanding of the program. Oh. However, we also ask that people should do it in moderation. It's sometimes, yeah, some of the questions may be a bit annoying if you have an upper hand of uh, stata. So we also ask that you bear with us, but we'll try our best and regulate it for the next session. So we will take it into consideration. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, Ali. Can you please right, ask welcome. your question? Hello, Ali. Okay, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am with you. Yes, please. Uh, the very thing, uh, I'm new to stata, but when the teacher is doing like uh, opening data statistics, he's doing this very fast. So he's doing very fast. Basically, basically, everyone after that asked to do it again. So if okay. in the design of his teaching method, he could do it once he say, and say, okay, another one, then that uh, a lot of people won't ask. That is the one thing. Oh, okay. So uh, the other I thing... Okay, please continue. Okay. Please okay. continue. The, yeah, the other thing is, like, you can't uh, you can't uh, let people ask uh, at the moment they want. Like, let's say, working twenty minutes opening the area for questions. I think with time, we will you will have you will know from the beginning the nature of the questions that will be asked asked. Also, there is a, a good, uh, good, good thing that is said by other people that you gave us the materials earlier so that we can review them and we 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 do, do not distract. We do not need to go through a lot of things at the same time, like going back to the slide or not, that. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you that's, so much. That's I all. do appreciate. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank so, you. If I may ask, which part of the statistics didn't you get? Are you okay with it now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, okay. Then that's good. Thank you I'm, so much. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So the next person can talk. I think I see. You can lower your hand for us. I see Oluwa Seyi. Hello. Oh, cool. Yes, please. You can. Hello. Can yes, you hear please. me? Yes, please. We can hear you. Okay. My, my name is uh, Kanduro. <clears throat> I've been uh, since the beginning of the session, and the session actually is very nice, and I would like to congratulate all who prepared it. But uh, I have a little bit of a uh, concern that I would like you to address if it is possible. Uh, okay. I understand I understand that there is a, a WeChat group that has been created. And uh, the group is the forum where most of the materials and the data set are shared there. 
but most of, uh, of um, a good number of people, and especially who participated today's session, they are not in that group and they do not have access to the group. So I think um, if you you pick, uh, you pick through the questions, most of the people like wanted to have the link to the group where they can also access the materials and the data set that are sent in the group. And that would be very helpful uh, like uh, to, to, to be in the group and to, to access those things. So if there is any way here in this forum, the link can be shared, that can be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much for the insight. So what we did was the first group had 500 people. So the second group, we were worried if we should share the QR code into groups, people may end up joining the second group again. So we told that uh, we told others that if you know someone you want to invite to the group, just add one of the people in the group, either uh, the chairman of OAD, uh, Nancy, some few people, and then they'll add them to the group. With this said, uh, are you still in the group or you are not in the group? I, I am not in the group and I don't know, I don't know how to access it. Oh, okay. So I shared a list of people. You can add them on WeChat and then they will invite you to the group. In the chat box. In the chat box, right? Yes, in the chat box. I provided some to WeChat ID. You okay. add them okay. and then they will invite you to the group. Oh, okay. okay. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Okay. So Thank please you. lower your hand and another person. The next person can. All right. All right. All right. Hello. Yes, please proceed for us. Please, can I go ahead? Yes, please. Okay. Um, thank you so much for organizing this program. And one of my questions, okay, just let me ask one, is that during the practical aspects, um, there was a part, a particular part I didn't get, and that was the last part, the ANOVA part. I yeah, want... Yeah. What, what happened was um, after I clicked on the data set, I was, uh, my data was not responding. I couldn't load the data and I couldn't practice what was being done. So I wanted to know before the next class, is there a means of getting to uh, know how this problem can be solved so that I would be able to know how to uh, I'll be able to know what to do before I move on to the next uh, stage, which, because I assume that maybe next class will be learning something new. Oh, okay. So that is true. The next class will be something new. And I think you posted your error in the group. Yes. So were you connected to the internet? Yes, I was. Okay. And even now, are you still having the top? It's still the same problem. Every time I click on, on that Apple DTA, it goes to not responding. Okay, so the point is, if you want to import the data, like as he did, you can equally use the command, the use command. So I'm not sure if, are you in the WeChat group? Uh, yes, I joined a WeChat group. Okay, okay. So if you're in the WeChat group, kindly, after the discussion, just post like, my, I couldn't import my data, and then I'll record and send it to you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Jeff. you so much. All right. Okay. Next question. Uh, me too. I experienced the same problem. Could you send me? Oh, you also had the same problem as well. Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah, so I, I think you should just put it on the WeChat. I also experienced the same. Kwame, me well, too. The same thing. Hey. The same thing. <laughs> My tool okay. was not loading the data. Yeah, the data wasn't loaded. Okay. No, no, no. There is this error that pops up. Uh, six zero three. Yes. Six zero three. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm not so, sure. So please, exact... I have a question as well. Approval sure program. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Okay, so this is the error six. I have a question also. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, I prefer uh, to arrange some minutes uh, for a revision before the next uh, class because most of us are confused uh, 
uh, in doing this procedure. Okay, so uh, before the next class, we will have between 30 to one hour pre-session, like we did this evening. Okay, so you can attend that one because we cannot organize another one because almost every one of us has classes or other things to do. So if you have questions, post it in the group, either the organizers or anyone in the group can respond to it. And if not, you come for the next session, one hour before the time, which we start at three, and then we will deal with it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. okay please, I have a question also. Uh, can you let him finish? I think he has a follow-up question, so. Hello. Hello. I think she can come on like the person has finished. Okay, so please continue. Ask your question. I think we have like seven minutes, so let's ask the question. Okay, okay so Pamela, my everyone. question has to I do really with so... wait. My question has to do with um the certificate at the end of the four weeks. Yes, please. So there are people who are not using their real names um, in the meeting. So at the end of the four weeks, how will you be able to trace to know that all these people will be required, uh, requesting for the certificate participated in the four weeks sections? Okay. So we said when you are registering for the certificate, we said mm -hmm. put the name you'll be using to attend the meeting. And that is what we are going to cross check with. The point is, okay. we are not interested in getting so many certificates out there. So that's why we even put like that 15 RMB cap on it to discourage others also. <laughs> so if you help us by not putting <laughs> the name there, right, <laughs> I think that would be good for us because, yeah, getting those certificates will take time for us. So, Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, young, yeah. Hello, ma'am. Can you please ask your question? All right, good day, everyone. I really do appreciate this class. Like, it's quite timely. I've been seeking to, you know, in, um, enroll for such um, trainings. But um, my concern, though, at the moment is um, I'm trying to catch up because I joined a bit after it started, a bit and later when it started. So, and I couldn't trace, you know, the files, um, the setup files and even and then I'm, I want to ask about the the choice of um, WeChat because it's obvious it has limited capacity and I'm wondering why didn't we opt for Telegram where everybody could be in the class so the questions any everybody ask is gonna be more interactive and everybody will follow up so I don't really know what why um the organizers chose. WeChat. So I'm just wondering about that. So, and again, how to get those files, the setup files, because I can't see it on this chat. I can't see anything on this um, chat. Oh, thank, okay. you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think uh, the data was posted in the chat box again. A lot of people reposted the data this evening in the chat box. The reason why we are using data, uh, WeChat is convenience. We assume almost everyone has data. Uh, almost everyone has WeChat. That makes it easier for us to go with it. And because this is China and WeChat is popular. So maybe next time, yeah, we would consider that. Remember initially we had wanted to even use Tencent meeting, but due to some restrictions, we opted for Zoom. So thank you for bringing it up and we will mostly consider it. But for the data, please check the chat box. You see a zip file there and also, for the group, if you're on WeChat, add one of the IDs I posted, and then they'll invite you to the group. Thank you. Any other question? Yeah, hello? Yes, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please, I can hear you. Yeah, um, with respect to the certificate, I would also want to find out that um, what about maybe two persons using the same 
zoom link as in taking access from the same zoom link what should we do for you to know that this is actually serving two people uh that is very true it hasn't come to mind but then i realized from the data that can some even wrote stata as the name and all those things yeah yeah, because as I speak to you right now, um, this particular system we are using is serving two people. It's serving Susan and myself, Francis. So how oh. do we interact for you to know that um, wow. two persons attended the class and that we'll have the certificate at the end of the day, at the end of the four weeks? Yeah, I do understand. Uh, maybe we'll create an attendance system and use it from next week. But I don't want us to go the extra, like, make things difficult, like put a lot of hurdles. So yeah, next week we'll come up with something that may be a solution to this. All right then, sure. Okay, we'll be looking for Yes, uh, yeah. so the question on the data importation, I think I'm able to import it with my data 17. The 18 is a bit slow, but the 17 works very well. So, uh, this is the link. And one thing about Stata is you can use the command use, and then you put a link to a data and it will pick it automatically. So I will share the command to the chat and then yeah. those of you having issues with it, you can try. Yeah, try Kwame, uh, sorry to cut you, but um, we tried the command, it didn't work. You tried the command, it didn't work. Yeah. So I think after the meeting, I'll check with the Stata 18 and see if, it has to do with the uh, particular data we are using. Oh, I try with the okay, okay. Okay. Uh, any question, please? I think I have Hello. Hello, please. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dr. Joseph, for this. Um, I appreciate this really amazing lecture. Um, God bless you. And the uh, second thing I want to tell my fellow students and all people who join this lecture to be to pay attention to the things. Let's be ourselves. We know like that day is for for raining this. We should prepare ourselves, prepare our PC, prepare our our everything. We should be ready. And the third thing is like we start, all of us, we don't know how to use this data. We are learning this is the first day. But we should pay attention for the instruction that our teacher gave us, especially on doing commands. When you will fail to, like the example he gave us, the step. If you fail to put one step, it means when he will repeat the next step, some of the command will not function. So this is the things that people forget about that and prepare our PC, prepare our things that we use for study so as everything can be better and we can cope to the time and then once we finish the course, we are really, really amazing. I want to tell you, my fellow students and all of the who are listening to this, please let's be serious, let's take time, prepare ourselves, prepare our PC, our iPad, tablet and everything. So as to give the the good cooperation to our teacher. It's all that. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. I will pass your comments on to uh, Dr. Joseph. So even with the data, I'm able to import it with data 15. So I will look into it and then see. OK, so please, any other questions? Hello, Dr. Right Kwan. Hello. 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 Yes. Uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, please. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for this important lecture. But uh, uh, there was a question in the WeChat, WeChat uh, about how the people can join the WeChat, including myself. Then also, um, should be better also to have the the recorded uh recorded uh lecture, which can even help us to to do um to redo it again so that we for the next session we will be at least on the same level of, yeah on the same level yeah okay so uh for the WeChat group i posted a 
like people you should add on WeChat and then they will invite you to the group. So I'm going to post it again. I'm posting two WeChat IDs. Kindly add any of them and then they will like add you to the group. The reason is we don't want people who are in the old group to join the new group. That's the problem. But yeah, kindly add these people and join the group for me. But I will ask the chairman of OAD if we can open the group and then we can share the QR code. I know this is disturbing, so kindly hold on for me. Okay. I'll, I'll also add the suggestion. I know, please. please, you can add this WeChat ID and then she will invite you to the group. Okay, I already have the WeChat ID. What I just wanted to include is this. And we can actually have um a PPT, like we can have the PowerPoint slide, maybe a bit prior to the time when we have our next class. If we can actually get the PPT before the actual class for the next time, I think that would be better. Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, I would do that. I'll try and get the PPTs earlier so we can yeah. do that the next time. Okay. And secondly, yeah. sorry for taking time. And this previous um, one that we have just concluded this evening, uh, if we can actually also get the PPT um, to be sent. To be written, yes, please. Yeah. I'll be posting the PPT to the group right after. Okay. The PPT is already on online, so I'll okay. share the link and later on I'll download and post okay. it. Thank you. Um, all right, that's fine. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Yeah. Okay, so it's already seven o'clock and I'm not sure. Is there any other general question we can take? And how do we solve the issue of error 603? Yes, that's the error I tried and it works on my 17 and 18. I'll try with the 18 also, theta 18 and see if that's the problem. If that's the problem, we'll find a solution around it. So please bear with us. So kindly add any okay, of cheers, the bro. Richard. Okay, cheers, bro. Hello? 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 Hello, we can hear you. Yes, please. So uh, I think with this said, we can wrap up unless you have any other question to ask. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us. The Q&A, please, the next Q&A, let's try and ask questions from the lecture. Let's try and ask questions from the lecture. And